I got a tray to plant, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Could be interesting if you've ever tried to dig in southwest Missouri soil, you know what I'm talking about. It could be hard for me to find a spot to plant this tree, but we're going to see what we can do. So I'm going to bring you guys along. All right, so this is the tree that I'm going to be planting today. This is a dogwood, a white flowering, yeah, white flowering dogwood tree. We got this free last weekend. Uh, there was a big event going on down at one of the local parks, kind of an Arbor Day thing or something, and they uh, gave away free trees, and you could choose from several different types of trees. I've always wanted a dogwood. I kind of like the dogwood trees myself, um, and, and you just don't see them given away for free very often, so we went ahead and picked one up. Now, it's been sitting in this pot for a week. It's looking a little wilty right now because it needs some water. It's got some dried up leaves on it right here, but it's going to be fine. Um, this is a small understory tree they only get about 15 feet high usually kind of a wispy tree if you know what a dogwood looks like so I need to plant it in a place where it's not going to get full sun all day long and I think right about here is going to be a good spot the only problem I have with this is my burn pile is not too far away but I can move my burn pile it doesn't have to be right there I can move it over and I think I will actually move it over um, it's a little too close to those other trees right there so I think I'll move it I'm gonna do that later though I'm not gonna worry about it so I need to go get a shovel See if I can dig a hole for this tree because who knows how far, how deep I can actually dig right here. This may not be a, a diggable spot. In southwest Missouri, sometimes you only get about that deep before you start hitting limestone and rocks and have all kinds of trouble. So we're going to see how well I can do with that. All right, moment of truth. Now, if you know anything about planting trees, it, it's a pretty simple process, really. I only want to plant it about as deep as it is planted in the pot itself. I don't want to bury it any deeper than that, but I do want to dig a bigger hole. About twice as big as what the pot is itself, which may be a chore. We're going to find out. Right? Yep, there's a rock right there. So we're going to see how well I can do with this. Let me get my area marked out here, and then we'll come back and start digging. Yep, there's another rock. I always see those shows where, you know, like crime shows or something, when have to bury a body and they're, they're like digging a six foot hole to bury the body. Good grief, man, that'd be days here. I don't know how in the world they could do it in an hour or two. We're gonna see how well it goes though. move the tree out of the way and get to digging. All right, so like I said, this may be tricky. You can see I can get just a little bit of dirt and then I start hitting rocks. So it's slow going, but we'll get there. May have to go get the rock bar out. Hey, that wasn't too bad right there. That was a big old shovel full. That was all right. But yeah, this is, this is Southwest Missouri dirt for you, full of rocks. Just every shovel full rocks just like that every time. Comes the hard part. As you can see, maybe you can see that on camera. I can't dig my shovel down in there. Part of the problem is rocks. Part of it is this clay. You can see it on the shovel, that white clay. It's just everywhere. This is gonna take me a minute. I don't need to know that you need to watch the whole process, but I'll get through it eventually. All right, that was a chore. But I got a hole dug. It's a little bit deeper than I need it to be, but that's okay. I got some rabbit manure here. I'm gonna throw in the bottom of this hole just to give the tree something to eat. Uh, something to feed off of, a little slow-release kind of fertilizer thing. You know, you don't really want to fertilize a tree heavily 
when you first plant it. You want to give it a little bit of a growing season. But rabbit manure is a good, it's going to help build the soil here. It's not going to be a heavy fertilizer. It's going to be fine. So, and I got plenty of it. So, we'll just put that in the bottom. A few black soldier fly grubs in there. I would have thought they'd been gone by now, but I guess not. All right, that's probably plenty. It's probably more than enough, honestly. But that's okay, we'll see how it goes. All right, next step's pretty easy. Go kind of slow with this so it doesn't just all run off. Let it soak down in there a little bit. This dirt will probably settle a little. We're supposed to get pretty good rainfall starting tomorrow night into the next couple of days. So this one drink here will be enough. Now sit down and take a break here, talking a little bit about plant trees. Everybody knows probably the, the good that trees do for the environment, for you know the wildlife, just just everything. Plus, you know, flowering dogwood is just a pretty tree to look at. And uh, so you know it's good to have a bunch of trees around. I'm sitting here with a peach tree I planted right here above my head. Got a plum tree right there, another plum tree back there, my pawpaw tree back there. So I'm building a nice little forest back here, I guess, kind of orchard kind of thing. And uh, it's working out pretty well. I got mosquitoes attacking me. I may not be able to sit out here very long. But anyway, um, you know, what do they say? The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The next best time is today. So I got a tree planted. You can't beat free trees. In fact, most of these trees were free. I did buy the two plum trees, but the rest of these trees were all free trees that I got through tree giveaways or uh, this one came from a, a buddy that had one and uh, didn't want it, didn't want the peach tree anymore. So I went and dug it up and it was a, six foot tree and you know better you know maybe eight ten foot tree by the time I I got to it and dug it up and planted it here that's why I've got it all staked out so it doesn't fall over and it gets established well it's been sitting here for oh the last six or seven years so it probably is established by now but anyway I don't know if you know the legend of the dogwood tree um, that's one of the reasons I do like the dogwood tree aside from it being a the state tree of Missouri um, and a very pretty tree when it flowers out it's just beautiful it's really nice to look at so it's a good ornamental tree to have around it's a native tree to the area they grow wild around here uh, but the other thing is the legend of the dogwood tree now the legend goes if you don't know it that the dogwood tree was the tree that was used to build the cross that Christ was crucified on and because of that God put a curse on the tree and said you'll never be used for that purpose again and therefore it does not grow straight and tall it grows very branchy and short it's a very short spindly kind of tree where it's got lots of little branches that come off to the sides and things and uh, you can never use it for anything like that that's the legend of how it goes and that's backed up by the flower of the dogwood tree if you look at the flower of the dogwood tree it looks like a cross with a crown of thorns in the middle and the edges are stained as if stained by the blood of Jesus himself so you know I don't know that there's any truth to that it's a good story I don't think there's anything wrong with telling that story but you know I don't know that there's any truth to it I don't know that dogwoods even grow in the part of the world where you know Jesus lived um, I, I don't know any of that but it's a good story it's a good legend to to keep alive and it's a good way to tell the meaning of you know Jesus and how he died on the cross for us and to show that to you know young young kids that uh, maybe just see the flower for a flower and to be able to to build more into that I do know God has his hands in all of nature so wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't cause the flower to grow that way specifically so we can tell that story so anyway um, not an exciting video today watching me plant a tree but it was something I needed to get done and uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me hopefully you enjoyed it it was a little bit more work than it should have been, just digging a hole in the yard, but uh, it always is when you're digging in southwest Missouri. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me today. As always, God bless.